Hi everyone, welcome to Chrissy the Books. I am your girl Chrissy. It has been so long since I've done a book review. I think it's been like three weeks, maybe a month. Oh, such a long time. I have been reading, I just have not had any time to post. And I guess I've taken a little bit of a hiatus, but I am back with a vengeance and a really interesting book for um, this week's book. So for this week, I read a really beautiful book and it is Things We Lost to the Water by Eric Nguyen. Um, I never know if it's like a silent NG or like Nguyen. Um, but yeah, Vietnamese author, Things We Lost to the Water. So I heard about this book from um, another Vietnamese author uh, of a book that I just loved so much called um, The Mountain Sings. And the author is Nguyen Phan Quay Mai. Um, I saw this book on her Instagram profile some point early this year. And I remember thinking like, I have to read that because if she says it's good, then I know it's going to be a good book. So, you know, much love to Nui and Fan Kui Mai because she's, she's just so awesome and I love her book so much. Um, and I feel like this would have been a similar vibe as well to the other book that I read. So, a uh, huge, huge thanks to Knopf Books for sending me um, an advanced review copy of this book. This book is out now, so you can definitely go and read it. I'll post an Amazon link below if you want to purchase it through there. And yeah, and I just know that I felt like this book would be a good read because it just looks epic and it just looks like it's going to be a good story. Um, and I was recently away on a little beach holiday, so that's what I was reading. And I was like, I just need a book that's going to transport me, you know, um, to another land. And uh, yeah, so that's what I read. And also it is um, LGBTQ plus Pride Month. And this also happens to be a pride book, which I didn't really realize when I picked it up. So it was a really great coincidence. Right, so let's jump into what this book is all about. The setting for this book is in Vietnam, um, and then also mostly in New Orleans in Louisiana and the US. We follow a young mother named Huang as she arrives in New Orleans with her two young sons. She is jobless, She's homeless and she worries about her husband, Kong, who remains behind in Vietnam. As she slowly begins to adjust to her new life in New Orleans, she continues to send letters and voice messages to her husband back home in the hopes that Kong will soon join them in America and that her children will grow up with their father around. As time passes, Hong realizes she will never see her husband again. While she copes with this realization, her sons Tuan and Bin grow up in their absent father's shadow, haunted by a man and a country trapped in their memory and imagination. The family adapts to life in America in very different ways. Huang seeks the company of a Vietnamese car salesman who is also new in town. Tuan tries to keep his heritage alive and connects with local Vietnamese gang, and Ben, who is the youngest, um, who now goes by Ben, um, fully embraces his new homeland and his newfound sexuality. Their search for identity as individuals and as a family threatens to tear them apart. But then disaster strikes the city they now call home and they must find a way to come together and honor the ties that bind them. So how epic does that sound, right? So that is what this book is all about. Stay tuned when I come back. I'm going to give you guys my review for this book, my rating, and my song pick, which is a really beautiful song. So stay tuned. Welcome back, y'all. Thank you for staying tuned. So let's get right into my review for Things We Lost to the Water by Eric Nguyen. Judging by this beautiful book cover, which I'll post a picture somewhere, and the title of this book, I kind of knew that this would be one of those like epic and like emotional reads. Um, and it definitely did not disappoint with that expectation because look at that cover. It's really stunning. I really just found it really captivating. 
Um, I really enjoyed reading this book a lot. I thought the narrative was really bold and it was sweeping and it definitely kept you gripped the entire way through. Um, and I really love the characters of this book. There's not a lot of characters, which is quite cool. And you really feel for each individual character um, throughout this book. And I thought that the author did a fantastic job with the character development. Um, and I was really quite stunned that this was Eric Nguyen's first book like his debut book because it's really good and I'm really looking forward to whatever it is that he'll come out with in the future. So we obviously follow this young mother, you know, with her two sons as she makes this epic journey from Vietnam um, into a foreign land that she's never, you know, seen before, like from back away from everything that is familiar to her. And this is definitely quite a relatable story if you are an immigrant or if your parents are immigrants. Um, just because, you know, you make this leap to come into this land where, you know, you're sort of escaping from, you know, troubles going on in your country and you move into the U.S. and, you know, you have to navigate life here and try and find your own way. Um, so, yeah, I really did find quite um, the story to be quite relatable, especially if you're an immigrant. One of my favorite things as well about this book was the setting of this book. I actually haven't really read a lot of books based in New Orleans. Um, so I really did love the visual setting of this book and I just found it really like just vibrant, like the hot, sticky, humid um, weather, which is what you would expect um, in New Orleans. And also really liked the Vietnamese community in this book. There's, um, you know, usually when you're an immigrant, you try and sort of move to an area where you can find your own people so you can create your own little community and, you know, you have that support system. So I really did like that in this book. Another aspect of this book that I really loved were the challenges that the author brings to us. Um, the story of the father was quite intriguing. You know, why did he remain in Vietnam? Why is he not joining, you know, the family in America? You'll find all that out when you read the book. Not going to tell you. Um, but I also really did just love the, um, the aspect of the water and like the separation and distance, um, which is, again, a lot of people can relate to because People are often separated by distance and by the oceans and water. Um, and yeah, it was just a really great, a um, lot of interesting themes and challenging themes going on in this book. And then just with all of that said, I would say um, my only sort of critique, uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a massive negative thing, uh, but my only critique would be is that I just wish the book was a little bit longer. Um, I really wanted to get to know the characters a little bit more, um, mostly because we just got like various clips from each character. Because the book was based in such a massive time time span, you know, some of the chapters would kind of like jump quite quickly within years, like so there was quite like a big leap of time um, at times in this book. So. Yeah, that's really my only like critique, but otherwise I thought this book was really nice and it was written so beautifully. It was so effortless. Like I, I loved it. Um, so right, after all that, let's actually like get into my rating for Things We Lost to the Water. So I gave Things We Lost to the Water by Eric Nguyen a rating of 8 out of 10. Yeah, so it's a good book. It's a solid book. Um, 8 out of 10 for me means that this book was great. It was a great read. Um, solid book. The story had substance. Um, it was very enjoyable and gripping and I would definitely recommend for you to read it if you're into like nice epic family immigrant, you know, type of stories. Um, you will love this book. And if I could describe this book with four words, the first one would be striking. I loved the story of this book, the title, the cover, it's just so beautiful, so striking, right? Um, and I really love the theme of water in this book, you know, the separation of distance. And also this book just had a really strong narrative, you know, like it was quite like punchy. Um, and it's a timely read as well. So yeah, first word, striking. Uh, the second word is effortless. Um, I just felt like this book was really original. It's not a book that I've kind of like read about before. So I just really liked how like fresh and like just original it was. And it's really quite a stunning debut uh, from Eric Nguyen. Um, I definitely think he's an author to watch out for. The third word is moving. This is a really just like epic, 
emotional, heart-rending um, type of book. Um, it's very raw, it's devastating, um, and I really liked the Vietnamese immigrant experience uh, that we get to learn about in this book. Um, it's my second book now, reading a sort of uh, a book based in, um, not really based in Vietnam, but by a Vietnamese author telling it from the Vietnamese experience. And I really seem to enjoy these books, so I'll be reading more of them. Um, so yeah, very moving. The fourth word, last but not least, is elegant. Um, this book was just so effortless. The writing was really nice. Like it was just a nice, just nicely written book. Very good writing. I loved it. Um, very eloquent and it had a bit of a quiet sophistication to it, which I really liked. And so just to wrap up my review, all in all, this book was about the search for identity in a foreign land. It's a story about loss. It's a story about moving on. It's a story about the Vietnamese immigration experience told um, during the time of the during the time of the Vietnam War. Um, it's about complicated relationships between a mother and her sons in a foreign land. And then ultimately, it's about trying to stay connected to one another when circumstances in life threatens um, to push your family apart. It's a really beautiful book, and I really think that you should read it. If that sounds like the kind of book that you would read, you're gonna enjoy this book. It's beautiful, it's raw, and it's emotional. You know, it's just like a good book. And with all of that, let's get to the fun bit of my book review. Um, so if you don't know my channel, welcome to Chrissy's Books. I heart music so much. Music is like everything to me. And um, whenever I read a book, I love pairing it with a song. And so my, my song pick for Things We Lost to the Water is a really beautiful song and it is photographed by Ed Sheeran. Oh, that song is just so pretty and I just feel like it really fits in with the whole theme of this book. Um, it's about long distance relationships, being separated from loved ones, and I feel like it really just like resonates with um, the beginning parts of this book. You know, just sort of that longing to be close to like loved ones um, that are far away. So yeah, watch the music video. I'm gonna link it um, around this time. It's a really beautiful song, beautiful video. And I hope you enjoyed my book review and I'm back. I'm back, yay. <laughs> I'm to do, I have like two more book reviews to do. Like I have so many reviews to do um, of books that I've already read. But anyway, I will link um, the song pick. I'm going to link my written review if you want to check that out. If you want to buy the book, I'll link that as well. And that's it for me. Thank you so much and have a great week.